another show. Ralph is definitely going to come with us because he's not going to want to stay here in this shocking weather. Could have gone one or two ways. We're going to Spars Holt College today for another one of the young horse classes with Zora. And I forgot the memory card in my big camera, so I'm filming this on my phone. So, yes, I need to go and plait her and put the dog's coat on and get going. We already packed the lorry, so not that much to do other than plait her, make sure she's clean and go. It's a long way, like nearly two hours. That's why it's early. It's like half past, it's like seven o'clock. So yeah, off we go. This comb saves my life every time. It holds all the hair out of the way so she can eat her breakfast and I can still plait. <laughs> Here we have our most BHS moment. Meg trimming the bridle path with the horse eating the hay on the ground in a stable. <laughs> with no head collar. With no head collar, obviously. That's better. Good girl. So we're halfway. No, not quite. A third. Bentley very kindly just bought uh, Zora an apple. Thanks, guys. Can I go and get them some more? You want to get her another one? <laughs> it's becoming a thing, the apple bringing. Right, we are nearly, nearly there. Megan has just done the smallest, neatest plait I've ever seen in a full lock ever. I don't know why she's not doing the whole mane. Look at that. Oh, well, the ending wasn't so quite so magnificent as the beginning, but that is a very neat plait. I'll show you in the daylight. It's too dark in here because Zora's light is dead. There we are, all plaited. Uh, she did not like Megan's really superb full lock plait. She said it was too tight, so we had to take it out. So we'll do that again when we get there. Good girl. This is proper grainers. Wow. Ugh. We're having to take Ralph with us. We need to get a towel for him. Oh gosh. I'm quite glad that we're going to a show to be further because it might not be raining when we get there. So, warm up is indoors, best is outdoors. But Zora doesn't really mind the weather, as far as I'm aware. So, I think it's going to be okay. Hello, little dog. Hello. Are you on a string? Tamir's on her, so no need to worry about the full lock. Meg has done a fair amount of checking up already while I went to the toilet. And now I need to somehow make this look like I'm going to do a test. At least warm's inside and lots of banners to practice with. Is it? No, the warm-up. Oh, okay. Yeah, test is out. Laura, are your ears bigger than the headset head ears? Shall we, we could try the different ones. I've got these ones that are an extra long. <laughs> Sticking off the top of my head. I think in that last video I was just generally moaning about how windy and rainy it was and how I couldn't really see. So we headed into the warm-up and she felt really lovely. We um, have been doing some work with our corners, slowing down in the corners, asking her to find the rest in the corners and then moving on around the inside leg and actually I was feeling she was really good. It wasn't perfect but we were definitely making good progress and I was finding that the balance was was getting better and better so I was just giving her a bit of a stretch making sure she was off my aids and generally feeling loose and obedient basically. Lots of reassurance you know big at, big changing atmosphere for her from our little arena at home to come to a big arena like this and other horses and all these banners and that kind of thing you know I really I really love her attitude you can see the amount of people that are having real nightmares going past all of those banners and we just did a bit of the pattern so 
previous to this video, I just did a little bit of like turning the hind leg towards the banner, away from the banner, if you've got no idea what I'm talking about. Then I do a lot of uh, groundwork training with her and um, I have got some of those videos over on my Patreon page. It's a different thing. Um, and then we went into the test and you'll see here she went a little bit spooky so I just go left and then I a little bit right and then I do I turn so just give her a little rub on the neck there making sure that she is here then going around my inside leg so you see she's giving outside bending so I just ask her to turn the hind leg to the inside. So I take inside rein, inside hand, and I ask the left hind to step underneath. And then she softens around my left leg and with my left rein. And then we have left bend, and then she feels super again. So I just go and do the same thing through here. These uh, I saw a couple having a good spook at these judge's hut so I wanted just to make sure she felt super comfortable so again I'm just stopping in the corners asking her to feel restful and then there you see I just take a little bit of inside bending and ask her to go around the corner rather than falling out of it um into it sorry if you uh, see the finger across the <laughs> across the top then it's because it is raining like hell and poor Meg had to keep uh, like getting the let the water off the lens so yeah so again other end I was doing the same thing slowing down you know kicking her towards pressure is only going to make that pressure seem more frightening for her softening and asking her to slow down in so in a place where she would maybe feel unbalanced or unconfident is not very positive so you can see then here, as I head round the arena, I can get round that side of the arena without much problem. So I was pretty pleased with her. This was, it felt confident and fluent and, and you can see the weather. And she just was like, okay, not bothered. We did put some ears on her today, um, mainly to stop rain going in her ear holes. I think my phone rang. Yeah. And then we're back again. So I carried on down the center line and then you can see the corner is better and better. The balance is getting better and better. Here I didn't have inside bending and then you get this ugly moment losing balance because I didn't have her around my inside leg. So I need to be a little better to keep her around the inside leg and make sure that I'm really conscious of that as my first port of call when riding difficult lines like that. So we start the test with a 20 meter circle. She felt fluent and positive and lovely. Basically, I was very much smiling. I didn't get nervous today and it was lovely. I'm actually recording this the same evening while it's fresh in my mind. So here we have the medium trot. Uh, didn't yeah a little bit and then she loses her balance but you know what I, I'm okay with that at the moment because it, it's not um established and it, that is fine you know it's just gonna take some time again here needed her more around my right leg but I corrected it and we had a lovely circle just really pleased with how positive and forward and active she was feeling the judge actually was not particularly positive about the trot. Um, it said more lift and expression and gave a six, six and a half. When at Kiso, I got a 7.9. So maybe it was because a bit of lacking balance here. I couldn't say, but um, yeah, not loads of comments. So we just go with it. And then I went wrong. And at this point, I knew. I was like, oh no, I meant to walk. Oh, I'm so sorry. So I just pick up trot again and I carry on and I meant to walk at A. So that was annoying because that was minus 0.2 of a percent, which actually overall with a young horse test, they score each, each aspect out of 10. So walk, 10, trot, canter, rideability, general impression out of 10 each time. And I got a whole minus 0.2, which seemed like a lot, but it just is how it is. So a pity that she jogged there, but she was just feeling a little bit behind my leg. So I'd kind of pushed her a bit more than maybe I should have. And that was a bit me not having 
the right judgment at the time but I was still pleased with her and she came back lovely and she was super loose and really swinging and they actually very much liked her walk she got a 7.5 for her walk so it's really nice with these young horse tests that even if you have a little blip they still look at the kind of general picture they don't look you don't throw away the whole walk mark by having a little moment that's just me mopping the water dribbling down my face and again I'm just noticing now not enough around my right leg which is quite annoying but here she spooked a little bit going in the corner and I can see her left ear. <laughs> that is not a good sign. If you can see their left ear as you're going down the long side, that means you've not got inside Ben. But she came, got on with it and the can transition was good and correct and on the right leg. Whereas in my last young horse test, if you watched it, it was pretty patchy. So here we have a little bit the medium steps and here I was like right bend must have right bend and I was pleased with that. Okay yeah it's not very established medium canter but she went forward she came back and she stayed in balance. Now here I was really really happy with this because this in our last test I hadn't managed very well. I was really sitting back in the saddle making sure oh goodness me the rain say making sure I was sat on the back of the saddle and I felt like that little sequence was so good she was behind you know in front of my leg sorry but I was sat behind the movement a little bit so I wasn't kind of on her shoulder her saddle does move a little bit and she's because she's a bit round still so and it's just I think maybe her saddle is a little bit narrow for her not to the point that it's causing any discomfort but it just means I end up a bit further forward so I have to really think about sitting back and there the medium canter down the long side was better on the left rein but then the downward transition was a bit unbalanced because she'd gone a bit forward and then we did our stretchy trot and if you guys remember this from Kiso stretchy trot was like non-existent wibbly wobbly oh my goodness me how spooky can we be and here she just softened and was great and I gave her a little pat and I was like oh this is lovely feeling not enough left bend, little kick there to say, come on, come away from my left leg. She was looking at that Bailey sign again, that's what she spooked at at Kiso. And then we rode a lovely smooth line onto the centre line, great balance there. Getting a little lower in the neck, but really smooth and soft in her back. And a bit of a wonky halt, but she's four and that is okay. Zora, looking super smart in our show rug. Love it. Both sides. We had a new rug made. I'm just admiring it. Congratulatory kisses. <laughs> um, I don't know my score yet. I was just thinking, talking about my mindset a moment ago, and I'm going to fill you all in because I didn't get nervous today at all anything just excited and I want to talk more about how I'm doing that and how amazing it is. Oh, oh, random. What are you doing? <laughs> are you a bit nervous? We go home soon. Oh! Yes, he says. Well, your plaits are out now. I liked you in ears. You look super smart. So, we just got back in the lorry. Um, I ended up on 6.8. So, you get a score basically out of 10 for each section. And my scores are all good. And then I went the wrong way. So, you get a minus two. So, it's like minus two. Oh, like, my zip 0.2 or whatever. But anyway, my score should have been 7.01 something which is similar to my score at Kiso but it's obviously went the wrong way so that's really annoying and expensive there was some mention of wild cards though if you get over seven percent over seven at one show so the Kiso you never know might get a wild card that would be pretty exciting if I did um what are the wings being over doing oh, people are looking at them for me. Oh, I just don't know. 
Um, so, yeah, basically a bit disappointed with myself, but very happy with her. Um, and now we're going to drive a long way home. At least, at least I didn't get nervous. That is something to be thought about. And I'm going to talk about that more when I get home. But I want to get going. So, see you on the other side. Just got back. It's still very windy. It's currently not raining. Do you just um, come out so I can shut this? We'll clear up in a sec. Get her off first. I feel a bit sorry for a poor girl. You alright, Zora? <coughs> Baby Zora? Good girl. First stop in the field is most definitely water. They love the drinkers. Hi, Ode. Can I have your head collar before it gets totally dunked? Come. Did you get stuck? Oh, I missed it. He is super turbo in his purple coat. We love a weather beater, don't we, Odes? You also love the water. So we just got back and she's gone out in the field as you saw and I've kind of gone full cycle with the uh, going the wrong way and that being frustrating it's quite you get quite heavily penalized in these young horse classes so normally in a normal test you lose like half a percent a half a percent but it felt like a big drop from seven to six point eight I don't know that's like feels like two percent but anyway I don't know um I'm pleased with her and that's the main thing she her way of going was better and I was so much more relaxed so I wanted to just talk very quickly about what I've been doing differently so number one is yoga I've been having some I spoke a little bit about having I've been doing some like yoga lessons and they have been like amazing um I, but yoga isn't about being able to do a handstand or headstand or whatever because it's just not relevant it's about being able to like master your own mind basically and master your ability to breathe and um function under pressure is the way that i see it so like you do a difficult pose to challenge your body to remain present and to remain focused on your breathing and that is what it has been for me um, and I have also been doing some breathing exercises you know really focusing on my breathing um, one that has namely been amazing is uh, it's called the nine part Tibetan cleansing breath bear with me it's it's not complicated it doesn't take loads of like practice necessarily I'm just going to keep the dog from growling at me by throwing his ball but it is quite amazing and it's it, you know it's it's essentially mindfulness meditation that kind of a feeling where you're being very present focusing your mind on your breath and so i've been doing this morning and night basically every day and then i do my yoga patterns that i've got like i do the groundwork with the horses and i just feel better i just didn't have a spike in my anxiety today and that was liberating. I can't tell you for having had years of feeling anxious and to the point I can't function to feel so freed by this is amazing. Uh, so yeah, that, that is what I've been doing. That is how I've been mastering. And it sounds so simple, right? But it takes practice. And for the last, you know, few months, this is what I've been doing. It's not happened overnight. Um, but really being able to focus on my breathing has been the most liberating, changing part. And um, really the, really the, 
the conscious feeling of my breath so i did this at the nationals and i'm going to write a post about it on my instagram i will have already done it by the time you see this video and there's a moment where i stood by the ring and i put my hand on ob and i just i did my nine part tibetan cleansing breath and it involves breathing covering a nostril breathing covering a nostril it's all about breath through your nose never about breathing through your mouth and it centers oh. centered me Bentley, no i'm trying to do my video stop growling uh it really centered me and i was able to then i think be more present in my body and perform to the best of my ability and i felt like that again today so i am feeling great about going forward to other competitions i feel like i've turned a real corner and i am looking forward to what the future holds because of it um i'm gonna finish this video here I've had a really lovely day. I did get wet, but it wasn't the end of the world. And I was super pleased with Zora going to a new place like that, dealing with all the atmosphere and being out in that windy, horrid arena. I couldn't have been more pleased with her. So I uh, want to thank you for watching, as always. Thank you for being here, subscribing. If you don't subscribe, please do. And I will see you next time. Thanks again so much for watching. Bye for now.